Welcome back guys, Rafi Ray here and today in this video we'll be taking a look at some new product that I just got from the company Mobo. They were uh, kind enough to reach out to me again and I did a review on their previous microphone which I'll put a link right up here and below. It's actually one of the ones that I'm also using the Labellier mic here as well but they were kind enough again to reach out to me and to send these products and now I'm doing a review for you guys and I'll be testing them out whether they're good products to get, the pros and the cons, and we'll see. So stick along, you know what to do, hit that like and subscribe. And without further ado, now let's get on with the unboxing and review of these products right here, mobile. Let's go. So yeah, so when mobile reached out, I was kind of stoked to review their new products and there were uh, they sent to me this microphone right here along with the uh, boom arm and also a pop filter so what we're gonna do is actually get them out of the box see what comes with them and also try them out to see uh, how well they perform I'll be plugging them into my computer and then kind of testing out you know the uh, quality of audio that you'll get now this microphone right here it is more for podcasts and also to do voiceovers you can pretty much use it for anything whether you're recording any type of podcast live sounds and things like that but i think i'm going to be using now this one because i've used their product already like i said i got a onboard microphone and that one does not leave my camera i'm always using that which i kind of using that right now connected to my sony camera and i also got their lavalier mic set you know i also reviewed that too which you can see right here. So the audio that you hear right now is actually coming from my lavalier mic. And if those two products work amazing, I can almost guarantee that this product right here will also work as well. So let's open the box and see what they have. All right, so we got right here the uh, PCM6, which is actually the podcast microphone that can also be connected through an XLR or USB. We'll be uh, seeing that in a second. We also got here the SM5, this is the uh, folding microphone stand. And then on the other side here, we got the PF6, which is a microphone pop filter to remove those unwanted pop sounds when we are speaking directly on the microphone. And let's start reviewing this one right here. This is the uh, PC M6 podcast microphone. And uh, as I playing here in the box, you know, it has, you know, it's good for podcasting, live sound, streaming, and recording it does have uh, the cardioid polar pattern you know that minimizes all that noise and feedback and also capture sound directly from the front and not too much from the sides or back and it also is an XLR and USB output we'll be putting that to the computer and it also includes the foam pop filter and suspension mount so that will be good for all those unwanted vibrations so let's see if we can open this box up and let's see what comes in the box. All right guys, so here we got the uh, suspension mount for the uh, microphone. Here we have the XLR cables that goes from XLR to a 3.5 jack. Here's the other XLR to XLR cables. Here's gonna be the USB adapter that we're gonna be using for the uh, microphone. This one you can see that one you can plug in the headphones in the green and in the red, you can plug in the microphone right here. And then it's gonna be the other one, so it's gonna be a USB-A connection. Here we have the windscreen, pop filter for the actual microphone. And finally, but not least, now we have the microphone right here, the mobile microphone. We turn it around. And as we know, it has the XLR inputs at the bottom. All right, so next up, we're gonna be opening now the uh, SM5. This is gonna be the folding microphone stand that you can attach it to pretty much any table or wherever you want to mount this microphone. Here's gonna be the arm that we're gonna be using for the uh, microphone. Here's the clamp that we're gonna be used to also attach to the table. Here we got some straps that we'll be able to use to again mount it. And then we have the microphone holder with a also with a thread right here. We're gonna find out more about this. All right, and the last piece that we're gonna open right now 
it's going to be the uh, microphone pop filter and again as i mentioned before this should reduce the vocals you know uh, pop sound sometimes when we're talking directly on their microphone they come out and it's a dual layer you know it's a 5.5 nylon mesh screens with a 13 inch flexible gooseneck arm all right so now that we got pretty much everything out of the box what we're gonna do is actually one more time recap what came inside all of these boxes and then from there we're gonna try to set it up put it on the table and then hopefully connect it to the computer to see uh, the audio quality of this microphone here with all the pieces uh, and parts that we have available so let's go okay so let's start by attaching and adjusting the clamp to the table and make sure this doesn't move at all then introduce the folding microphone stand into the clamp and continue tightening with the knob until it feels that it's kind of tight enough now that you have the clamp folding stand assembled let's set up the mic grab the suspension mount and add the mic through it and make sure you're holding the microphone properly then attach the foam mic also attach the pot filter to the folding stand and finally attach the XLR cable to the mic and now your mic is set up and complete all right guys so now that we're back over here we have everything set up as you can see here we have the microphone set with the extra pop filter and the shocking mount right here and also the extra pop filter as well on the outside right here now we have the microphone connected through the XLR through the USB audio adapter and I'm using an additional adapter because my computer here the MacBook Pro 16 inch as you guys know has a USB-C so I'm actually using an adapter to connect the uh, microphone here and then I'm using my headphones right here to monitor the audio that we're going to be recording inside the computer now currently the audio that you're hearing is actually coming from the lavalier mic here which is also a mobile microphone that I review and they also collaborated with me in this microphone right here so if you haven't seen those videos regarding to the uh, mobile microphone on board that can be you know mounted in a hot shoe take a look at the video right here also if you want to take a look at this video right here with the lavalier mic also take a look at it up here or down here I will put the link in the description box below so check those out if you haven't done so now having said that one of the solutions and one of the methods that i think is going to be the best way to record a uh, great audio is to use the xlr to xlr cable and try not to use the xlr to 3.5 audio because that one will reduce uh some of the quality that you'll get on the microphone for example i have right here my soon h4n uh, and this one records in high bit radio uh, format so when I'm recording directly from the microphone through XLR, I can actually plug in here at the bottom through an XLR device right here. So that way I can get clean, uh, much better audio from here instead of going directly into the computer. Because the soundboard in the computer might not be as good. So you do want to get the best clean audio possible. That's what I highly recommend. That's a scenario that I will use. Uh, if I ever have to use this microphone, which I will be using this microphone uh, more now to do voiceover because I want to do try this microphone a lot more now. I've heard already what it sounds and it sounds amazing. So I do want to continue using pretty much all mobile products right here. So that's the scenario that I said that I'll, I recommend using if you can. Now, if you can, it is okay. And you can definitely use the uh, cable, the XLR to a 3.5 jack into the computer if you need to record anything but in the cases that you may want to improve your audio i'll definitely go for that route all right so what we're going to do now she's going to raise the microphone right up here up to my uh, kind of my level right here and then i'll be opening in this case i'll be going to final cut so in final cut if you guys are familiar with final cuts where you actually edit your videos normally what i will do is actually go into window and go into record voice over and then from there i'll pick up the uh input gain i can change the input gain on the uh, menu i can also name that file name and then select what type of input you're using now for this time we're going to be using the mobile microphone so i can go into the input gain and select system settings and audio device now i'll select the uh, mono right here and then I can also select the microphone built-in, the built-in microphone from the computer. But this time around, I'm just gonna see the system settings, uh, USB audio device. 
And then, like I said, you can also monitor it as well. So if you monitor, you can listen to what your uh, microphone is picking up. And then you can have a countdown and things like that. And then once that's set, you can hit the record button. And at the bottom, it will create a audio file. Now this audio file, you can delete it, you can manipulate it. You can also increase the volume from here. Now, however, there is not a lot of controls to edit the audio from here. There is some, but not a lot. So that's why maybe using a third party the, uh, app or another app, which we'll be using in a second, like GarageBand, where we have more control of the audio, we'll be able to do that. But let's say you want to record it and I'm going to put my headphones on. All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to record it and then I'm going to play back for you guys so you guys can see it, the difference right there. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. So right now I have an input gain around 18 and I'm going to select it and I can do monitor on. With monitor on, now I can hear myself right here as I'm speaking through the microphone in front of me. And you can also hear some background noise. I don't know if you can hear this. So that's why you want to edit that more on a different uh, application. Can I an application like Odyssey? That should be a good application to audit, uh, to edit, I'm sorry, uh, more of the audio. So let's go, let's click right here. All right, testing, testing. This is test number one on Final Cut using the mobile microphone for podcasting. And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes, uh, I'm sorry, seconds. So about 15 seconds and then we're going to play it back. Let's see. So now that we recorded the part right here, I'm going to input that voiceover. So now you guys can hear. Now this is a zero dB. Let me play it right here for you guys. All right. Testing, testing. This is test number one on Final Cut using the mobile microphone for podcasting. And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, seconds. So about 15 seconds and then we're going to play it back. Let's see. All right, so that was it at zero dB. I'm going to increase it up a little bit to probably 12 dB to give it more of a boost for my voice. Now let's play it back and let's see how that sounds. All right, testing, testing. This is test number one on Final Cut using the mobile microphone for podcasting. And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, seconds. So about 15 seconds and then we're going to play it back. Let's see. Now, as you guys can hear, the volume was actually higher and it felt more, you know, of a quality because I did increase the volume. To be honest, you know, it sounds good for me. If you want to increase the volume to be a better quality, I will say take it to Audacity or another different app that you can edit the audio for. For me, that sounds pretty good. So uh, and that's coming out directly from the microphone into an adapter into another adapter and into the computer and the computer is also kind of you know adjusting the levels and all that stuff so that's pretty good all right so that was on final cut now what we want to do is actually now is move on to GarageBand and on GarageBand is even though it's an application dedicated more for audio you do have more control but I do want to uh, stress that I by no means any professional when I didn't when it comes to audio so we're going to give it a try. I just have some recording right here, but I do want to remove this right here and kind of do another take in here. So let's go for this. Let me put on the headphones again. And again, the microphone for me is about, I want to say one, two inches or maybe three inches from the actual microphone. You can get it even closer if you wanted to bring the pop filter even closer to you. However you decide, you know, it's up to you. So let's see here. Let's record normal. Let's start. Test, test. This is me testing out the audio coming up from the mobile microphone into GarageBand. Add everything normal. I haven't changed any settings. So let's say I want to give it about 15 seconds or here. So when we get there, we should be able to see what the sounds uh, is like. So we think we should stop it right now. All right, and let's go back and let's play it. Test, test. This is me testing out the audio coming up from the mobile microphone into GarageBand. 
at everything normal. I haven't changed any settings. So let's say I want to give it about 15 seconds or here. So when we get there, we should be able to see what the sounds uh, is like. All right. So we just heard what that sounds like. And I think out of the gate, uh, without making any modifications, you know, I think it sounds amazing. The ambient noise, I wasn't even be able to kind of tell the difference. It does sound when I put on the headphones, you know, some ambient noise. But when someone is kind of listening through, you know, your headphones or even on a regular uh, speaker, it you almost don't hear it there. So that's a good thing right there. The one thing I wish this microphone had, but I wish it had some gain input right on the microphone and also a maybe an on and off button because sometimes when we plug it in, uh, the times that I plugged it in, in the past, I didn't know if it was working or not until I actually went into the settings and try it out, you know, but having like an on and off switch and like a gain input uh, on the microphone itself would have been good as well. So just something, you know, that I wish it could have been implemented on the microphone. But other than that, I think it's an amazing microphone. We'll go over that more in a second. So let's continue. All right, guys, so the audio that you're listening right now is actually coming directly from the microphone. And as you can see, I'm kind of far away from the microphone right now. And that's being recorded directly into the H4N right here, directly through the XLR cable. Now, as I get closer, you might hear my voice to sound much, much better. And also, sound, you know, sounds a little deeper as well. So that's when you get close to the unit. Now, you can get it close as you want it to. And just to give you some reference, I'm speaking directly at the uh, microphone. And if I were to clap around, some of the sound might be kind of far away. And that's the reason why the cardoid is so good because it records this microphone, whatever is on front, and not so much what is behind uh, you. There are all the options that you can do here as well. Let me point out right here the uh, recording. When I talk, that's actually what is moving right now. Now this is actually being recorded in a WAV format. So WAV format, we know that it has a higher bit rate of recording. And also uh, the reason how this is being powered is through the actual recorder. The recorder can provide phantom power directly to the uh, microphone. So that way the microphone can get some of that juice, you know, and be able to record like that. I had it set before to 24 volt and it wasn't really working but when i actually plug it in and upgrade it to 48 volt now on the phantom power it did start it working and also since i'm using a recorder i'm monitoring my audio directly from the headphone jack on the device right here on the h4n so i can hear directly live with no lag the moment that is coming out from the microphone right here, which is something that I really, really like. And I like the way it sounds on its own. So this is the kind of scenarios that I'll be using from now on, you know, connecting the uh, XLR directly into the uh, H4N. Or if you have any other device who were to record, I highly recommend using that device that you have. That way you can get a much cleaner uh, audio source. Now let me know uh, in the comments down below which of the uh, options that I show you, you like the most, which one sounds better. Uh, whether it is the one connected to the computer, the one that's connected right here to the XLR. Let me know in the comments down below which one sounds the best to you. I would like to give you guys opinions and thoughts and things like that. And in troubleshooting, if you have any troubleshooting, also let me know down there. Well, there you go, guys. You guys to see the uh, unboxing and review here of the uh, mobile PC M6 and also the uh, ASM5 right here, along with the uh, PF6 right here, the uh, filter. I want to thank Omobile for uh, sending this out to me for a review and then giving you my perspective on these devices right here. I think they're great. So you should definitely highly recommend you invest in a microphone like this one. And also, if you plan on buying any of these products right here, check the link in the description down below. You will have more information right there. I would gladly appreciate it if you guys support the channel through there. And talking about support, if you guys want to support the channel, hit that like if you like this video. Also, follow me on social media at Rafi underscore red and also at the end you know hit that subscribe button so you can know when i'm putting new videos so with that said i want to thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one rafi red signing out